heart stopping moment, van driver is forced to swerve off the road. There's some heated debate on this video. Let's take a look and see what we think. So I spotted this one in the Daily Mail this morning. Let's take a look. This is the terrifying moment a van had to swerve onto a grass verge to avoid crashing headfirst into a car pulling out of a junction. The van driver was forced to manoeuvre around a red hatchback after it turned left onto the A28. The white van had just started overtaking a lorry when it was forced to reroute as the red car moved directly into its path on January the 12th. So we're going to show you this clip. You're going to see a big lorry thing coming along and there's a white van going to overtake the lorry and a car's going to pull out here. Watch this. Right. Play. Oh, oh Jesus. It's close, isn't it? It's close. Let's have another watch. <coughs> Blimey. <coughs> What's that van? Hey, well played to that van driver. That was some quality bloody driving, wasn't it? He's got reactions like a fucking alley cat. See that? And he held it well. So yeah, quality driving from the van driver there. Now, the reason I wanted to show you this is because it's been quite hotly debated over the internet. Uh, who's at fault the most, the van driver or the car pulling out? Let's take a closer look and we'll have a chat and see what we think. God, look at that, though. It looks like it was up on two wheels in that van at one point. Oh, man, that's scary stuff, isn't it? Scary stuff. So you can see here in this picture, look, the Berlingo is moving out of the junction. But the van has already initiated the overtaking procedure. So who's at fault there? because it looks like the van had already initiated the overtaking manoeuvre before the red car pulled out. Could he have seen the red car? We can't see if there's a hedge or anything now. I think there was in the video, wasn't there? So maybe he couldn't see the red car. Maybe the red car should be looking both ways before pulling out at the junction. And if he'd have done that, he would have seen the white van overtaking and maybe not moved. It's a toughie. But as it says here, the clip seen by more than 246,000 people ignited a debate on who was in the right and who was in the wrong. Jeremy Vine wrote, my dad always told me when you turn in left, look left as well as right. And that was why he said it. Yeah, he's right. If that car had looked both ways, he would have seen the van overtaken and he wouldn't have pulled out, would he? The van was overtaken in a perfectly legal way if within the speed limit as the main road has normal hatch lines. Yeah, but it was going at some lick. I don't think that lorry thing, I don't think that lorry thing was going that slowly. So he would have, Oh, you don't know, dear, but I would have say that would, he's, he was going to be breaking the speed limit to overtake the truck. If the red car had stopped at the lines, the overtake would have stayed on the road, but you never overtake at a junction. So the overtaker is as much to blame for the incident. I just hope nobody got hurt. I don't think anyone did get hurt. Others agreed it was the van driver's fault. One said you don't overtake at a junction. Red car obviously looked to his right, because why would you even look left? But as the first comment here says... Ginger gin. The truck wasn't exactly going slow, so I'm not sure why the van needed to try and overtake. Yeah, that is a very fair point. So I've showed you it. What do you think about it? Leave your comments below. We're we'll trying to have a bit of a fun debate, because I like car stuff, about who was at fault the most and how good a van driver's reactions were, because that was, whether it was his fault or not, bloody spectacular, right? Good driving. Well, thank you for taking the time to watch this little video. I'll see you in another one again soon. See you later.